Now then, YouTube, welcome back to my Minecraft world. Forgot what episode number this is. Nine, something like that. I think maybe. And finally, we're going to get this renewable energy on the go. I've gone ahead and crafted myself the energy crystals that I needed last time. I've got the mod that was in question. I've taken that off. And you'll see that it was tin dust that that other stuff actually um, took over. So... The bow and arrow that was there, the bow, I don't know what it was, but uh, it's no longer there anymore. Um, whatever this was up here, that's not really no longer there anymore. And I've got that, which I need to create myself. Yep, another one of these babies. And then I'll put one of these on each side around it, and that'll create nothing at all. What the hell? I was meant to create an MFA here. Am I wrong? Just bear with me a second while I uh, pop on the old... Oh, I'm missing the copper cables. I never bloody... I never waited long enough for it to uh, reload back up. There's some I created earlier. Apologies for that. And my machine block. Oops. There's my MFA. The last thing that I'll need to actually finish this off is an LV transformer. There it is. And um, because I can't actually use that, I have to go in here and have a look myself. It's not very expensive. Three copper. Yeah, I remember that. Three across the middle. Two copper cables. And basically that will work as a, a downgrade to the bat box. So I want to be outside, around the other side of this. Got them. There's no mob, mobs around to kill me. Oh, great. Something's been jumping around in here and I've not been looking. Oh, these are weeds. You want to get them off your crops as soon as you can. But basically, you just walk over it, right click, you'll get your wheat from it, and your seeds will still be there. Brilliant. Uh, I'm going to have to take my crops down until I can actually find some, uh, get it. some more stuff. Okay, I've got to figure out where exactly my bat box is. I think it's somewhere around here. Oh, look at that. Spot on. Tree, you're right in the way. So, the fun going for. Okay, continuing on. I'm just breaking my solar panels here. I'll need the space, that's all. Um, well, let's actually go back inside just a second and grab some mud. That should do. Put the wood away. I need this mud really is because I need to level this area out a bit more just to make space for this new fandangle machine that we're going to have going. There's another bloody tree there. Normally I wouldn't mind, but you really are getting in the way. Should be okay though. Oh god damn it. <laughs> There's always something I forget and I've forgotten some cables. Set that one mate. Get rid of all these. I don't need this in my inventory. Uh, anything else? 
else? I don't need the redstone. Everything else. There we are. That I pretty much don't need. I need some food though. I'll fill myself up. Time's it. That's what time's getting on. It's gone nearly one o'clock. Okay. Right, the, it has to come out of the back box, okay? Um, the LB transformer. I remember how this works. The input slot. Is it the bigger one that goes to the. And then the output slot to the other one. Uh, then the MFE. Must be that way around, with the blob facing towards us. Looks okay to me. And then the low current cable is going to go into there. Now, I could have squeezed that up there if I really wanted to, but never mind. But this is probably just the place that we want to be. And I need some friggin' water buckets. Just two for a start. To create, and I'm probably going to do it this way, as there seems to be more room this way on. Something like that. Now, um, if I consult my little diagram that I've got here. Yeah, I thought so. This is right in the middle. Come out there. Get out of my inventory. Right, I want the deployer which will deploy empty buckets here. I want, it, I want it facing that way, that's spot on that. I then want directly behind that the filter. Now let me just dig this out a little bit. So I'm going to need some more space. And I need to turn that around so that it outputs this way, like that. Uh, and then what I need to put next to this I knew I should have brought that bloody shovel with me when I was out there. Knew it. Right. In fact, I could leave that there, but I'm not going to for the minute. I've got, yeah, that's good. Um, Right, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Retriever. Which I believe wants to be placed there. And with the output facing that way. And I want the pneumatic tubes there. I'll place there really quick. So basically the retriever is going to... This um, deployer is going to deploy water buckets. So I'm asking it to deploy water buckets and to retrieve empty buckets. Okay. Um, now I've got this requires power, so that's where these come in. And these are wonderful because they go up walls and round places and everywhere. I want the battery box just there and the solar panels, they can just connect to it like that and they will start filling up, be it daytime, there we are. Uh, and just behind this, I want my pneumatic tubes in that kind of fashion, just like that. I want to actually be manoeuvring around down here just for the second, so let's dig down just a little bit. Just so I can see it's working fine. Now the water mills, we want all across the top here. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well it's not really working now, not doing anything. I want to put a water bucket in here, um, put the empty bucket in there. 
So basically that's going to filter out every water bucket out there and pump it back into this system. And uh, it's actually getting dark. So best hurry up with this now. That's that bit done. Now I've got to, I've got to obviously power this, and that's where these two come in. Red alloy, wire, uh, alloy wires, this timer as well. Now God forbid, should this uh, get blown up, because I will be annoyed. There we go, the water buckets are being accepted by the windmill now. Upon every pulse, the deployer will deploy an empty bucket there, suck it out, water bucket, into here, out and into there. The retriever should retrieve the empty buckets when they're available, but it's not. Why is it not doing so? Just for the moment guys, I'm going to switch it back to Dawn, just while I sort this out. You can class it as cheating, but uh, we've waited God knows how many episodes to do this now. Deployers run out of stuff. It's not asking for them back. Why? Hmm, I missed something out here. I shouldn't have, it should be fine. It should be working spot on. Unfortunately, it's not. I have tested this, I know it works. Let's just give it a little bit of breathing space to see if this helps. It's possibly because they're not actually running. Right, let's just... Um, the tin cable goes on there. There we are, it's running. And the empty buckets are finally being sucked back in. Brilliant. Making a right racket because of course industrial craft. It wouldn't be industrial craft without a racket. Now this is working spot on. All the water buckets are getting sucked out. The player's working as it should. Ooh, music stopped all of a sudden. You can see under here everything's working absolutely spot on. Filling up this MFE, which in turn is going through to the back box. The back box will then get full, the power will then start charging up this MFE which holds 600,000 energy units. So finally we've got our renewable energy on the go. I can relax now and uh, in fact I can actually take my generator down because I don't need that anymore. Won't need that at all. Not there anyway. The only thing is, it doesn't have to make a racket, that thing. There we are. Back to normal again. Uh, I'm just thinking about where to put all this stuff. I've got lying around. This is the stone. I'm actually going to do something now with the Philosopher's Stone that will probably impress some people. You can actually change or transmute blocks into the same value. So what I mean by that is dirt is worth one, sand is worth one, and cobblestone and all that kind of stuff is worth one. So you can tra transmute between grass and sand quite easily. You shift, you press shift, and then you can change it into cobblestone, back to grass if you really wanted to. But we take, out, take off shift and you can get smooth stone. So let's charge this up. Oh, 
Let's just do these individually instead. should have been anyway. I love this I honestly do so much less work and hassle there we are so we've got a nice stone floor I'm not going to get any freaking slimes anymore right what I want to do is show you the shelves mod and I said I was going to do this Where's my axe? So I won't get rid of these. I don't need this much wood, to be honest, but I uh, just want to make this anyway. It's one shelf. It's like basically a small staircase makes shelves. So let's get these shelves out. Lovely. Now anything that you place on the shelf can be seen from normal. Put anything on there, it will actually be seen. As it is at the minute, I don't really need anything on there. Um, I may display my bees. That could be a good idea. But uh, for the minute, that's just how you create shelves. Now let's have a look through. Let's see what else we can do. Now we've got re renewable energy. I can have a look at making those other machines, the compressor. And actually, that's what I was going to do next. Start automating my system. Now that I've got that outside, I can actually move this outside if I wanted to. Um, but for the minute, it's okay where it is. Instead, what I'm going to create is another macerator, another furnace, and another extractor outside. So I will probably need more refined iron. Okay, I need some more iron to start with. Which is good, because I've got uh, quite a bit of it here. Back box hardly ever been touched. Like I said, solar panels are okay, but when it turns night time, uh, it'll stop producing energy. That water will not stop producing en energy. That is constant. Nothing changes there. Okay, so let's have a look at the overclocker. She can't see the thing for. Oh, I nearly pressed R, and that is an industrial craft item. So I can't actually show you it there. Now let's have a look at the overclocker. If I can find out where it is. Should be here. Overclocker upgrade, there it is. It requires water cells, I believe. Where is it? Cooling cells copper cables and an electronic circuit nice and easy some tin I'll create myself some empty cells that's just a simple case of going outside with these empty cells filling them with water now they're not coolant cells just yet They will be though, you have to put them through an extractor to actually make them into uh, cooling cells. I'll get a full stack of these, I may as well, always going to be useful. 
and shove them into my extractor, which will then make a racket and make me turn this down. <laughs> While they're extracting, see what time it is, and then go and check on my bees, because I know they'll finish by now. More honeycombs, lovely, lovely, lovely jubbly. Another forest queen there, expected, really. And then desert bees. More patched combs, very nice. And now I've got like a, a decent stock of modest and a decent stock of forest bees. Um, I can crossbreed now and I've still got the modest there if I need them. Very nice. And I must go exploring at some stage and... Uh, And find some more bees for you. Jungle biome, snow biome, and um, the meadows, the normal plains biome. Got lots of wheat there. And now I've got lots of cones. In a second, I'll create something else. Ah, uh, these don't stack, which is the pen in the back side, so you're going to have to keep coming back for these. I'm going to craft an apiarist's chest, which requires five honeycombs, a chest, and a piece of glass. Easily done. Chest, glass, honeycomb. There we are, an apiarist's chest. And here, I can keep all my bees. I don't have to keep them in a chest anymore. Princess. As you can see here, all these question marks. I'm not exactly sure what all these question marks are about. Now, I want the Bealizer, but unfortunately I do not know what the recipe is for that. That is unfortunate, but uh, never mind. This can keep a shit ton of bees in here. And it'll keep them out of my chest and keep them all in one place, so that's very good. Modest. Forest drone, modest drone. Oh, I don't bloody know. I'll have a look into that. And, uh, I shall let you guys know just what came of that. Now, can I put that in there as well? Can I do that? Can I put that in there? Please? Would you let me? No. You won't let me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna actually going to put them on this shelf here. Ready for use. Oh, look. It's a little bit buggy when it comes to modded items. So, they're obviously not going to go in there. And they're going to go back where they belong. <laughs> Which is fair enough. Fair enough. Right, okay, let's get this um, this thing on the road, shall we? Right, refined iron, a couple of pieces of redstone, I need six copper cables. Which is easy enough. We'll get me my uh, electronic circuit. And what else was needed here? Does it come more copper cables? I'm sure it was. I'm sure, was it like that? Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Have a look. Oh, come on. Bye! Overclocker upgrade. Basically all that little thing is there. 
Um, and basically it's a blue arrow, that's all it is. And let's shove that in there. So we know that there's the overclocker in there. It uses slightly more energy, but it does run at a faster speed, which is always useful. Now off camera I'm going to go and uh, create myself some more of these. Um, I'm going to have a, I'm going to go away and have a read about the uh, bees and just exactly what all this means and try and get the recipe for the bealyzer and create myself one of them. Now I know there's a mod spotlight about it, but uh, I'll have to see if the thing was in that. Um, I'm hopefully going to do some more with this. Wait a minute. Oh, by the way, I never said what this chest was for. Uh, all them artifacts that I found down in the dungeon that I told you about, basically all the artifacts are going to go in there, you know, along with my Thorncraft 2 stuff. It's getting a bit crowded in here, it's got to be said. I'm going to move this centrifuge and, you know, and uh, engine out of here. I'm also going to move the Thorncraft stuff probably to another building somewhere and try and, you know, space my stuff out here because that hovering there in midair just does not look aesthetically pleasing at all. Um, yeah, and I want to create some more macerators and such for outside. So anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up that episode here. Uh, I'm going to go away and I'm going to get a proper episode planned together for the next one. Just exactly what I'm going to do and how long it's going to take me to do it. Because this episode has been a little bit all over the place. As with previous episodes. Uh, it didn't help that that mod just didn't work with it. I may look into doing something with Millionaire very soon. Because I know that I said I would like to see that. But also I would like to go out exploring and get myself some different types of bees together. Uh, cobble them together. It would be nice. It's got to be said it would be nice for me to get all the sets of bees that are out there but we'll see see how long it takes to actually go exploring and see what's going on in the world but I may do that off camera because you know me just walking around is not exactly great um, viewing time but like I said I'm gonna go away get myself a good episode planned together for the next episode um, and hopefully everything will be a little bit more organized than what it has been uh, I do apologise for that, but like I said, I really am enjoying doing these videos, and I hope you are enjoying watching them also. Um, I may check fancy graphics off, basically, because if you look on my screen here, when it gets dark, there's like dark patches just on the corners. For some reason, fancy graphics work like that. I don't know why, it makes no sense to me, but uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to get off, and I'll see you guys for the next episode.